We are so used to seeing glass in buildings, it's easy to take it for granted. But a lot more goes into the specification, design, manufacturing and installation of windows and doors than you might think. Getting the right windows and doors can make or break a project. They have to be energy efficient, secure against break-ins, reliable, good looking and cost effective. If you are new to the channel, my name is Neil and I have been a real life architect in the UK since 2009. I specialise in altering and extending private homes and the building behind me is one of my own projects. I designed this in 2019 and built it in 2020, just outside Edinburgh. The windows and doors in this project are aluminium double glazing by Sunflex UK. We have a feature window with a built-in seat, a large sliding patio door with electrically operated hopper above, a ribbon window at the kitchen, and a fully glazed side entrance door and panel. I first specified Sunflex doors in 2016 and was so impressed by the quality of their products that I have used them on many other projects. To explain why I think they are a compelling product, I will go into detail on the whole process of design, manufacturing and installation in this video, and at the end, I will break down what it would cost to supply and install the windows and doors from this project today. Inflation has been a major factor in construction since these were installed, so they would cost more now than they did just two years ago. I believe Sunflex offer a great balance between cost and quality but everyone views these things differently and I want to give you the information to make your own decision, so stay tuned to the end. Over the past 14 years, I have worked with numerous window and door manufacturers. It's possible to make windows and doors from timber, UPVC, steel, aluminium or composites of these materials. A large proportion of my work involves refurbishing older historic properties and one of the major differences between today's homes and older buildings is the quality of the windows and doors. Even people who don't like modern architecture can't deny that today's aluminium frame double glazing is so much more efficient than traditional single glazed timber windows. But why is that? Why can't we make windows and doors from timber? Well, we could, but they would be far chunkier, with much more frame relative to glass, and timber is solid, whereas aluminium frames are hollow. No matter what your frame is made from, if it's solid, it will form what is known as a thermal bridge. Heat will quickly transmit from your warm, cosy house to the outside, costing you money. Sunflex frames have thermal isolation built in. This frame might look solid, but the inner aluminium and the outer aluminium are separated by a patented multi-chamber thermal break technology. They also have an exclusive panel catch technology that holds the door in position to prevent little fingers accidentally closing them or from strong winds blowing the door shut. The aluminium frames are bonded at the corners and are incredibly strong. This allows them to have very thin sight lines while supporting heavy double glazing. This maximizes the view out and the natural light coming in. You can't do this with timber or UPVC. They just aren't strong enough unless they are made much thicker and that will reduce the sight lines. The building regulations set tight standards for heat loss in new dwellings and house extensions. They use a measurement called U-value to calculate how much heat is lost from a wall, floor, roof, window or door. It's like golf. The lower the number, the better the score. In Scotland, the maximum U-value for a window is 1.6 and it's about to be reduced even lower to 1.4. So windows and glass doors are being forced to become ever more energy efficient. These Sunflex doors and windows already had U-values of 1.4 back in 2020 and Sunflex now have products which can go as low as 0.8 with triple glazing. Sunflex doors all meet the requirements of Secure by Design and Pass 24 as standard. This is something that building regulations officers have asked me to provide in the past and several clients have also required it for home insurance purposes. The doors and windows are also tested for air tightness and are certified for weather tightness so they don't leak even in driving rain. All of this sounds great but how do you go about getting Sunflex doors and windows for your project? Well, to answer that, we need to go on a little journey. This is Sunflex UK's manufacturing facility in Norwich. Sunflex is originally a German company, founded in 1986. When Sunflex UK was first launched in the year 2000, all of the products were imported from Germany. But over the past 10 years, manufacturing has moved more towards the UK. There are more than 40 different products, ranging from internal glass partitions and roof lights to ultra-slim sliding doors and commercial glazing solutions. 
Sunflex have their own range of hinges, handles and locks for all their doors and windows. Sunflex UK do a significant amount of research and development at this facility, coming up with new products specifically for the UK market. However, Sunflex UK don't deal with clients directly. Their website has lots of information on their products, but if you want to place an order, Sunflex have a network of over 60 approved installers across the UK. I travelled to Galashiels, about 45 minutes south of Edinburgh, to visit Mitchell Glass. They are the authorised Sunflex installer in my area and they form a vital part of the supply chain. Their technician, Kevin, showed me around the office, showroom and workshop. Sunflex approved installers will guide a client through the process of choosing the right product for their home. Sunflex has a range of standard colours, you can see them here, but it is possible to choose any colour you want. Kevin told me they recently installed a bright orange door for a client. I mentioned at the beginning that people regularly take glass for granted, but there is a huge variety to choose from. Double or triple glazed, toughened or laminated, frosted, sandblasted or clear, fire resistant, gas filled cavities or low E coatings. The type of glass will vary depending on the requirements for U values, privacy, security or structural strength. When a panel of glazing is sufficiently large, such as the patio doors in my project, the structural engineers who certify the building will ask that the glazing manufacturer provide a structural calculation to prove the glass won't crack in high wind and that it can resist the force of a person falling against it. I have worked with other window and door companies who don't provide this calculation. I had to source an independent specialist who could and the client had to pay for this. Aside from cost, this also slowed down the ordering process and the specialist and the door manufacturer had to communicate back and forth several times before the calculation and specification were finalised. Working with Sunflex UK's approved installer meant that calculation was done in-house. Using an approved installer helps my client navigate these choices. They also help me, as an architect, to ensure the glazing complies with the building regulations requirements for heat loss and for security. They also inspect the building site several times to ensure the contractor has prepared the area correctly and the windows and doors will fit as planned. Sunflex frames are not usually shipped with glass. You can see these frames at Mitchell Glass Workshop are ready for delivery to site. Once the frames are installed, only then will the glass be fitted. Once you choose the right product and specification for your project, the approved installer can give you a quote but the order process doesn't usually begin until after accurate measurements have been taken on site. These are photos of my project under construction, showing how far advanced the work was before we could accurately measure the window openings and start manufacturing. Timescales will vary depending on the size and type of windows or doors, but it currently takes between 11 and 16 weeks before windows can be delivered and installed. Choosing a non-standard colour will add at least another two weeks to that timescale, and if your property is near the sea, the aluminium must be anodized to prevent corrosion. This adds to cost and also to the timescale. Glazing companies who sell products direct to homeowners for their builders to install can create a classic problem. If the windows or doors fail after installation, the manufacturer will blame the builder and the builder will blame the manufacturer. The homeowner can be stuck in the middle, with no one willing to take responsibility. Sunflex UK's network of approved installers offer their own warranties. Mitchell Glass offer a 10-year warranty on frames, 5 years on moving parts, and typically either a 1-year or 5-year warranty on the glazing. Because they design, supply and install the product, any problems will be dealt with by the approved installer alone. Mitchell Glass did the original installation at my project and I asked them to reprice the windows and doors based on today's costs. To supply and fit the feature window, patio doors, high level hopper, kitchen window, side entrance door and the glazed panel would cost £24,000 plus VAT in 2022. Using a crude rule of thumb, that works out at about £1,000 plus VAT per square metre of glazing. Although it's important to keep in mind that windows and doors tend to get more expensive if more hinges and handles are installed. Fixed glazing, like the feature window and kitchen window, can keep costs down because they do not open. Like I said earlier, everyone has a different view on value for money. 
but I think Sunflex products and their network of approved installers offer something special. Not only are these doors energy efficient, but they also look good and will last for decades.